Hi, I'm Anna with Grace and Strength Lifestyle. Um, I've been a part of this team with Grace and Strength for a little, just a little over seven years now. And um, today we are here with one of our latest graduates, one of our newest graduates, Miss Gail. Um, Gail has not only reached her goal and completed the program, but she has now maintained her weight for a couple months. So um, we wanted to take the time to celebrate her and to share her story with you. So Gail, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I am probably one of the older women in the program, so that's kind of what I want to let people know that you don't have to be young to do this. Um, it's, um, it's kind of a, a rumor, an urban myth that as you get older, um, you don't lose weight as well, and I'm here to tell you what that with this program, that is not the truth. That is good because that is true. We've got people from all ages. And um, so, I mean, it, it is truly for everybody. So, um, so tell us a little bit, how did you hear about Grace and Strength? Well, it was completely a God thing. Um, it, it scrolled by in my Facebook feed saying um, one of my friends liked Grace and Strength. So the fact that I saw it there in the feed in the first place had to be a, a thing from the Lord because you know things roll by and you sometimes you catch them sometimes you don't but this one stuck out like it was lit, lit with neon um, for me so I went online and uh, read some of the testimonies and um, that's how I heard about it I, I had never heard of it before great well that's that's fun that's good to hear because that's a lot of people do we hear about that we see it it comes across and what is it um, so what was that determining factor? What was that thing that, um, that led you to go ahead and join? For me, um, it, was, it was a pretty personal thing. I had, you know, lost weight before, um, multiple times before. I've probably done every program out there that you can think of and always regained the weight, and I had regained the weight. Um, but I had signed up and paid all the money to go on a mission trip to Nepal. And all I could think about was that I needed to physically be able to do whatever the Lord was calling me to do there. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know if I'd be, you know, playing with kids and need to go up and down. I didn't know if I'd be ripping apart a house and would need to climb up a mountain. And as the case happened, that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. And so, and I couldn't, I just thought about a 15 hour plane flight in an economy seat bent over in half like a sausage and I just couldn't imagine it. I so wanted to do the trip, but I still wanted to do a good job with the trip. So after seeing it on my Facebook feed, I thought, okay, this is, this is it because I've, the Lord has brought me here. Now I need to be able to do the work he wants me to do. So um, how long, how long were you on your mission trip? Um, it was just a little under two weeks. Wow. Wow. All this while on grace and strength. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. So what was I made it giving Christmas, Halloween, uh, birthdays and a trip to Nepal. So, um, the excuses are gone because if you can do that, you, you just got a handle on it. Um, but again, it wasn't about me this whole time. It was about bringing the Lord into this weight battle that I have had for the last 34 years. Right. Absolutely. You know, that's one of the things that um, we just even talked about just a couple days ago was um, Christ has to be the center. He has to be the center of this. And that that's truly where change really begins to take place and to transpire. So I did not think that cared what I ate. Um, I didn't think it was important to him. It never occurred to me that it might be. Mm -hmm. And so um, bringing him into the battle and um, giving this up in prayer, he really told me that he did care. And um, verses that I, of course, had read before that, mm -hmm. um, you know, my body's the temple of the Holy Spirit, um, all of a sudden just popped right out at me. And I, I think with that particular verse, I will always hear it in, with this particular attitude of, do you not know <laughs> your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Come on. Yeah. And I'd never seen it like that before, and it was life-changing. Beautiful. 
So what was your greatest takeaway from your entire journey with Grace and Strength? Um, probably just what I said in that God does care. Um, it does matter to him that I was abusing my body. Um, I, I read a book um, that really, really affected me. It was recommended by um, a coach uh, called Made to Crave, and that really helped. And I think the greatest takeaway was just that um, I didn't, I don't, ha I didn't, and I don't have to do this on my own going forward. Mm -hmm. I am a recovering perfectionist and um, I could only be perfect for so long. And as soon as I wasn't perfect anymore, because that always happens, then I fell apart because if I couldn't do it a thousand and one percent, then I couldn't do it at all. Right. And so um, get, bringing the Lord into this and making him part of the battle has made me not be the perfectionist that I was because I don't have to do that. He is changing me. I can't do it on my own. It's the problem was too big and too harsh and too strong. Right. Go God, right? Great testimony there. So for anybody who's watching and listening, um, who can hear your words, um, what would you say to them if they were on the fence and unsure if, if even can I even do it or whatever their holding moment may be, what would you say to them? Well, it's what you just said. Can I even do it? No, you can't, but it's not about you. Mm -hmm. You, you do this program, you listen to his voice, you hear what he's saying and it's, you don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. He's going to be right there. Not that it's a walk in the park, but it's like, I don't, it's so hard to explain. I, I didn't do this. He did. Mm -hmm. He completely changed all of my thoughts about food, my thoughts mm -hmm. about exercise, my thoughts about him. Um, the Bible study itself is um, a big, big part of this. I mean, you don't study the Bible and Weight Watchers. That's probably why I didn't know it mattered to him what I eat. And um, so anyone who thinks they can't do it, they're probably right, but that's okay because he can. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Well, I just want to completely just give you the biggest hug and just tell you I'm, you know, I'm so excited for you and we do celebrate you. And, uh, and your, your victory has been very important. And, um, and, and I know God's happy and I know you're happy <laughs> and we are happy. So um, I just want to say, you know, that um, that we're very proud of you. You've done a wonderful job. And, uh, and keep going, girl. You got this.